वॉट इज एन एबंडन नंबर एन एबंडन नंबर इज दैट हुज सम ऑफ इट्स प्रॉपर डिवाइजर इज ग्रेटर दैन द नंबर इट सेल्फ डिवाइजर मीन्स द फैक्टर्स एक्सेप्ट द नंबर इट सेल्फ ओके सो दीज काइंड ऑफ नंबर हुज सम ऑफ द फैक्टर्स एक्सेप्ट द नंबर इज ग्रेटर दैन द नंबर आर नोन एज एबंडन नंबर I would like to tell you all about a website a web hosting website domain racer it's a wonderful place where you can avail the best web hosting services like creating new websites purchasing desired domains upgrading your website and many more if you really wants to grow your online business then you must not miss this opportunity you can easily get desired domain at the fair cost there is 60% discount on ssd hosting so don't miss this chance and quickly register yourself and grow with domain racer so this is the website which will help you to grow your online business and the link i will provide you in the description the link will be given in the description box so visit domainracer.com and know more about the web hosting services hello and welcome to knowledge circle everyone and today we will see a java program where we will make the program based on abundant number so here we will create a class with the name abundant and then we will click okay the code window opens double click on the class the code window will be opened and then we will start writing the code we'll begin the code uh, with taking input import java.util.scanner then after we will create class okay we will give the class name as abundant after creating the class name we ha we will write the main function public static void main means publicly declared statically declared no return type and the name of the method main after creation of main method we will start the scope of the main method okay and then we are going to create the object for the scanner class we will write here scanner ob then equal to that is assignment operator new scanner system dot in so in this way we will get our object then after we will declare few variables okay the variables which are required to store the values in this program one variable we will uh, we will be needing to store the number that we will take input so we will take here int n the variable then after we are going to do what we will display a message to the user okay by using the print method of system class system dot out dot println okay and the message will be enter a number so we will display a message and when the user reads the message the user will try to give the value so we will take the input we will receive that the value into the variable n after the input process we are going to run a loop here the loop will start from 1 and it will end just one less than the number because what is abundant number abundant number is that the sum of the factors should be greater than the number except that number that number then that, that number will not be included in the factors so the loop will run like this from 1 to lesser than n i plus plus and each time the value of i will be divided will be divided means it will be checked for divisibility like so we will write here if n module i n module i is equal to 0 it means we will check whether the number is divisible by the value of i or not if it is true if it is true then what we are going to do we need to have one more variable because we have to store the sum so i am going to take here s is equal to 0 okay so we will write here if it is true means if the number is divisible then we will write s equal to s plus i every time that i's value will be stored in the variable s then after we need to close the loop okay in this way we will get the sum of the factors of that particular number okay now it's time to check whether the sum is greater than the number or not so that for that we will write here if s is greater than n and if it is true if really the value of 
the factors of sum is greater than the number then the number will be known as abundant number so we will just copy this statement that printing statement and we will paste here okay and we will edit this statement that it is an abundant number we have we will write here it's an abundant number then after what we will do we will write for else part also we'll write here after correcting this we'll write else system dot out dot print alone. it's not an abundant number if the sum is not greater than the number then the number is also non not abundant okay so we need to only put here not so in this way we complete our program it's time to compile the program we'll click on compile button now as we click on compile button file saved no syntax error program is successfully compiled it's time to execute the program so we are going to execute the program for execution what we have to do we'll right click on the class and then click on void main enter a number three it's not an abundant number let's re-execute the program right click on the class and click on void main okay now we will enter another value enter a number the number is 12 it's an abundant number